Shout out to G-Man Boxing. Well, that escalated quickly. Conor Ben stopped Samuel Vargas in the first round, I think, barely with 90 seconds gone. Um, you know, going into this fight, I thought it was a good step up for Conor Ben. I thought Vargas would be game. He would take Ben rounds. It would probably go the distance. And Ben might have moments in there where he has to really, you know, think about certain things. I didn't really see a stoppage coming. I know Vargas is coming off the back of a KO defeat to Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz is a tremendous talent. No longer a prospect, but when he was, he was my top prospect in boxing. Um, I didn't. I'm really. I'm. I'm very impressed with what I saw from Conor Ben. I have to say, clinical. You know, straight away. I watched the zone because I just can't. Sky is just no. But the zone is a little bit behind. So I'm watching it, thinking, okay, this is gonna go long, and I'm seeing Ben throw these shots like jabs, uppercuts. And I'm thinking, just Ben's on point. He looks sharp, razor sharp. You know, razor sharp in there thinking right this is going to be a good boxing display from Conor Ben I'm thinking this is going to go long Ben landed the first shot that really got through the guard was a right hand it penetrated the guard of Samuel Vargas it looked to have very good power on it and that got his attention and what Ben did then was he landed an uppercut you know basically he went in landed an uppercut and got Vargas up again the ropes and just opened up a combination on him Bar Vargas wasn't thrown back now he's been around the block you would have thought maybe taking a knee would have been the best course of action but maybe he didn't feel the referee would stop it as quick as he did to be honest with you although some people might say it was an early stoppage i think the right was on the wall irrespective I, I don't think this fight was going long um not to take any credit away from conor ben absolutely not samuel vargas fringe world level he has seen better days i think it's fair to say He's been stopped before. He was stopped against Garcia. He was stopped against... Did he fight Aaron Spence? I'm not sure if he did. Um, but I know he's coming off the back of a loss, a KO loss at that to that guy. I just said his name, Virgil Ortiz. He's obviously lost to Louis Colazzo. And Louis Colazzo has seen better days. So if Louis Colazzo has beaten Vargas, it, it, it's not amazing. Obviously, he had that 12-rounder with Amir Khan. He was dropped in the first round of that fight as well. So Vargas could be someone who gets caught early. They take nothing away from Conor Ben. Conor Ben from what i see seen in there, look very good, look composed. He can be reckless at times, or at least in the past, could have been reckless. He, he looked very he looked very relaxed and composed. Even when he got Vargas hurt, you know, it, it seemed, you know, nice and to the point. You know, he was able to land the shot, look fluid. And when he got his guy in trouble, he was able to close the show. And it wasn't a clean knockout, but still, it would have probably been had the referee, had, you know, given him a standing eight count or something like that. Very impressed I was with Conor Ben in this fight, definitely. Um... It's a, it's a name. It's the best name on his resume. It's a step up from Formella. And I thought at the time Formella would be a tough fight. And Conor Ben cruised through that. Um, so Conor Ben is definitely on the upward traje trajectory, I should say. Hmm. Where do you with him next? Um, people have been talking about him winning a world title. You see, the thing about welterweight is that it's always going to be a tough division. As good as Conor Ben looked, imagine... They're not going to do this, but imagine they put him in there against Virgil Ortiz. Would anyone confidently pick him to be Virgil Ortiz? I wouldn't. Would you pick him against Ugas? He's probably going to fight Spence. When these guys move out, like Spence, when Porter goes away, when Crawford retires or, or decides to move up, whatever, would you pick... As I say, who's going to take over the titles? You're going to look at Bones Ennis, Virgil, Virgil Ortiz. You might look at Josh Taylor on the upward trajectory. He might move up after he, you know, fights Ramirez, whether he wins or loses. Would you pick Conor Ben even if he improves against some of these guys? Probably not. Not saying he can't, but I wouldn't pick him against Bones Ennis. I wouldn't pick him against Virgil Ortiz. Not right now, anyway. We need to see him improve. So they're talking about world level. Might be a bit too soon. I know. Had Josh Kelly had got rid of Avanesian, they probably would have made that fight next. As it stands, obviously. Avanesian is actually a decent shout. European champion for Conor Ben. That'd be an interesting fight. Avanesian, his come forward pressure style, his effective pressure against Conor Ben. That'd be an interesting shout. And I could easily see them doing that. I could, that's actually a very good shout. Conor Ben versus David Avanesian. Because if he was able to beat David Avanesian, and David Avanesian, I would pick him, even going in before this fight, I would have picked him over Vargas. Avanesian's fair to say world level. 
He's, Euro, he's European champion, but he's a cut above European level. That would be a very good fight for Conor Ben next, David Avenisi, because you get a European title as well, which will get you a ranking at world level. And if you can get rid of David Avenisi, then you are knocking on the door of world level. Another name that I heard thrown around was Kabalaskis, the Lithuanian fighter, the Lithuanian welterweight. Um, that's a good shout, but I think that might be a, a bridge too far. I think that... Um, Avenisian, because Avenisian was stopped by Kavalaskis. I think that would be a good gauge to see where Ben is at in terms of European world level. Um, and I definitely would give him a, I'd give him a better chance. Put it like this, right? Two years ago, when they were talking about Ben versus Kelly, I was just dismissing that fight because I just thought Kelly would win. I never rated Kelly too highly, but at the time, I knew Ben had so much to improve. Well, he's improved it, and then some. So at this stage, him against Avenisian... It'd be an interesting fight. I was very confident Avenisi would beat Kelly. I'm not very confident he'd beat Conor Ben. I don't know who I'd pick in that fight. Good performance. I'm going to leave it here. That's my little kind of thoughts. Kind of gone out there. You know, just my thoughts on this fight. Let me know yours in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button. Subscribe, of course, if you're new. I was going to say hashtag, but I don't have a hashtag anymore. For now, I'll talk to you. Peace.